Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life. Caleb, can you get me the um, the ginger and fill up some water for me really quick? Okay, this is, um, if you've been following me at all, it should be on the desk. You know that Monday through Friday, we are doing a positive, peaceful affirmations. And we are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, positive peaceful growth calendar that you can buy at aroma tools or oil life the we are on 51 and i don't know why there's only 51 weeks in this book but i mean but there are and thank you hun and but so this is but this is the last week in the book so we are on our last week of our positive, peaceful affirmations. Um, I love, I've loved working through this book with all of you. We are, you can buy the book. Again, it's by Dr. Susan Lawton. You can buy the book at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. And if you love positive affirmations and you love music therapy, if you love essential oils and aroma therapy, I think you're really gonna love this book. It's it's very simple in its format, but it's profound in the changes that it can help us make in our lives. If you've missed any of the the last week's um, shout outs or you want to watch them again, you can watch them here on our Facebook page, which is positive. What is it? Um, Living the Wholesome Life. Essential Oils Health Matters. Essential Oils Health Matters. There you go. So thankful I have Caleb or you can watch them on our YouTube channel, which is Living the Wholesome Life Old. Now, the affirmation for the entire week is everything, everything I think is positive, everything I think is positive, and I expect miracles often. Now, I am loving this. Right now, as I'm filming it, it's 2020, and it is Yom Kippur, Y-O-M-K-I-P-P-U-R. It is a Jewish holiday. It's the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, and I am not Jewish, but I, I love and admire the faith, their faith, and I love that it's Yom Kippur. Again, I'm not Jewish, so I'm definitely not the expert on it, but Yom Kippur is a holy day that has to do with atonement. It's called the Day of Atonement, and it has to do with forgiveness and repentance and good works. And so it's a beautiful day of fasting. I'm not fasting, but it's a beautiful day of fasting where, where you try to repent of all your sins and you try to forgive everyone who has ever wronged you. And you try to do good works. And I'm like, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful holiday to celebrate. And so I am definitely celebrating this holiday, trying to repent of my sins, trying to forgive everyone, and trying to do some good works. So the, and I think, as I think of the, the name of this holiday, the Day of Atonement, well, of course, it's going to absolutely remind me of the atonement of Christ. Caleb? Yeah. Can you see what that is, please? Anyway, it's going to absolutely remind me of the atonement of Christ because I don't I know there was no greater miracle and no greater proof of God's love for all of us than sending his son. His neighbor is doing something. Okay. Then sending his son to live a perfect, who lived a perfect life and who sacrificed himself and died for us, allowed himself to be sacrificed for our sins and, and he atoned for our sins so that we would have the chance to repent, become completely clean again and live with him again. So I, I know that um, the Jewish faith and Jesus Christ don't often go hand in hand, but for me, they absolutely go hand in hand. 
I believe he was the Messiah they were looking for. And and I'm thankful for the atonement of Jesus Christ. And I'm thankful that we have a, a holy day um, in the Jewish faith that we can all celebrate, Jewish or not, um, that's all about forgiveness and repentance and and doing good. Now, another thing, um, a popular one of the things that they believe that is on this day. Well, they believe that on Rosh Hashanah, God God looks at your life and He writes your name either in the book of life or the book of I think it's the book of death. I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyway, and um, then you have like ten days called the days of awe to to um, repent and forgive and change his mind. And then on Yom Kippur, which is the what day it is today, he seals your book, um, you in the book of life or in the book of death. And so um, a popular greeting on Yom Kippur is, may you your name be written and sealed in the book of life. And, and I wish that for you too. May your name, may all of our names be written and sealed in the book of life. And <laughs> may we do a lot of repenting because we all need repentance and a lot of forgiving because if we've lived it all, we have a lot of things to forgive too. Okay, so um, again, the atonement of Jesus Christ, the greatest miracle of all. And I, I do believe that although um, I don't, I can't say 100% that I believe that today is the day that God's going to judge us and write us in the book of life or the book of death. What I do believe and what I do 100% know is someday there will be a judgment day. And someday we will go home to the God who made us and, and be judged of him. And he's kind and he's loving, but he he is going to judge whether we've lived a good life, a loving life. Um, anyway, so I do believe that eventually there will be a judgment, whether it's today or some other day, there will come a final judgment. And and he'll be loving and he'll be kind. And I know that we'll agree with the judgment that he gives us. Okay, anyway, so just saying, there will be a judgment someday. So let's all make sure we are doing what we can to live a righteous and clean and loving life, repenting when we haven't, um, forgiving. Okay, all of that. The, the, that's the affirmation for this week is everything I think is positive. And I expect miracles often. I believe God is a God of miracles. And as we turn our lives from to him, we will see all of his miracles that happen in our lives. There's a um, saying that says, obedience brings blessings and strict obedience brings miracles. And I do believe that that there is a um, principle that upon which every blessing is predicated, which means that if you want a certain blessing, then find the law, find the principle that you need to obey and obey it. And, and as we do that, we'll see God work in our life and see miracles happen. Okay, a long shout out on today's, uh, on the, this week's, this week's affirmation, which is again, everything I think is positive and I expect miracles often. Okay, the affirmation for today is I am in charge of my thinking. I love that. I love that. I'm going to say that again. I love that. We are in charge of our thinking. Our children aren't in charge of how we think. Our spouses, the media, whatever else is not in charge of how we speak, how we think. We are in charge of how we think and we're in charge of how we speak to and what we do. So I, I'm i reminded, was it Viktor Frankl? I'm not 100% sure, but um, this guy in a concentration camp and he said the one thing in this Nazi concentration camp, the one thing that you that you have and no one can take away from you is how you think, right? We can think kind, loving thoughts. We can think grumpy thoughts. We can think mean thoughts. <sighs> kind, loving thoughts are really the piece. The, the path to happiness. And so that's what we're going to be thinking. 
And yes, we are in charge of our thinking. Now, as I'm talking this to us about being in charge of our thinking, I want to just give this opinion as well. And that's that I don't think that every little thought that pops up in our mind is our own thinking. I don't. I think that we have negative influences and and um, negative spirits that might be whispering in our ear, do this, think this, whatever, and just putting those thoughts in our head. And then I think we have godly influences as well, saying, hey, would you like to do this? This might be a path to happiness. Do you want to go here? And so I feel like we have um, the negative thoughts and the positive thoughts that maybe aren't our all of our creation, but what we do with those thoughts when they are in our head, those 100%, that's what we control. So if we have a, a bad thought or a negative thought that we don't want to have, we're just going to kick it out of our head and we're going to think something else positive, something beautiful, something holy, something happy. And so we are in charge of how long um, those thoughts play in our mind. Okay, um, I'm thinking of a talk. I'll, I might put a couple talks in the in the comments just on how we are the ones in control of our own minds. Okay, the music, app, the music appreciation music um, therapy song for the entire week. I'm loving that we're ending on this song too. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. It's Paca Bell's Canon and Oh, I looked it up on how to say this. Jeej in D. G-I-G-U-E. Jeej, I think it is. In D. Um, now, there's there's a lot of versions of this song because it's like 400 years old, I think. Something like that. Anyway, and so I'm going to put a different version every single day of this song. I'm going to put five of my favorite versions of Paca Bell's Canon and Jeej in D, and I'm just gonna call it Paca Bell's Canon in D, because that's what most of us know it as. So, get, some of them are very quick and, and uplifting and energizing. Some of them are very slow and peaceful and relaxing. I tend to like the slow, peaceful Paca Bell's Canon in D's better. But you can tell me in your comments what you like. If you have a favorite version of Paca Bell's Canon in D, go ahead, put it in the comments. I would, We would all love to hear it. Now, the, the diffuser blend that we are diffusing this week is two drops of ginger, which is the oil of empowerment. And then two drops of bergamot, which is the oil of self-acceptance and self-love. And then two drops of black pepper, which is the oil of unmasking, like the oil of getting down to the truth. And it's a beautiful blend. It's a beautiful blend for for um, the autumn as we're going up into autumn or as we're in autumn now, just the first weeks of autumn, this beautiful gingery smell with the, the orange of the bergamot well, the citrus kind of smell of the bergamot, and then the black pepper, a beautiful, beautiful scent. I think you're really going to love that. Today, we are going to be talking about the emotional and physical benefits of ginger essential oil. First, I'm going to give you some of the background on the oil. Some people like to call ginger the oil of empowerment. Some people just like to call ginger the oil of power. It is a spicy pepper peppery aroma. Ginger is indigenous to South China and has been used there since 2000 BC as a medicinal and cooking herb. It spread, its use spread eventually to the Spice Islands, well, and where it's grown has, spawned, has spread to the Spice Islands, other parts of Asia, then to West, West Africa and the Caribbean. As a result of the profitable spice trade, ginger was exported to Europe and India in the first century AD. And right now, over 33% of the, um, of, 
ginger that's produced is produced in India. Ginger is used in traditional Chinese medicine. It's used for a variety of issues from respiratory support to toothaches to strengthening the heart to helping to relieve head congestion. Due to its digestive properties, ginger is an integral part in Asian cuisines. Most commonly, it's added to meals that include meat because of its ability to aid in digestion. So if you have a hard time digesting meat, think about incorporating ginger or ginger essential oil into your meal. Greeks also used it to counteract the effects of poison. It's been used medicinally in England since at least the 16th century when King Henry VIII recommended it to counteract the plague. Romans and Turks used it historically. Um, it was used in gingerbread. It's been used in Egyptian cuisine to also ward off ec epidemics. In Rome, they used it for its they loved it in wine for its aphrodisiac powers. In India, they used it in tea to help soothe um, indigestion. In Hawaii, it was used to scent clothing and to cook with and to help soothe upset stomachs. Hawaiians also added it to their shampoos and to their massage oils. In the 13th and 14th century, a pound of ginger was equal to the cost of a sheep. In medieval times, it was imported to, um, to help preserve sweets. Ginger has 115 different chemical compo components that have been found in the ginger root, which is where the essential oil is made from. And the, most of the therapeutic benefits that we know of come from the gingerols. The oily resin from the root can also act as a highly potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent. Ginger essential oil is made up of 90% sesquiterpenes, which are defensive agents that have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, so we can see from ginger that it's been used for thousands of years in countries all over the world. Here are some of its physical benefits. It increases physical um, energy and stamina. It's a warming oil, so it's great to put in like a carrier oil, like coconut oil, olive oil, whatever your favorite one is, and rub that on to sore muscles or achy um, hands, achy joints, achy knees. Um, it's great for inflammation. It's stimulating to the circulatory system. Again, you can put it in a carrier oil and just massage that in. I'd probably put like two to three drops into about two tablespoons of carrier oil. It's great for our digestive system. It can help with nausea. Um, it can help with when you're when you're hungover. I've been told that like I don't drink alcohol, so I wouldn't know that one. Um, it can help with motion sickness. It can help with heartburn, um, acid reflux, constipation, colic, flat, flatulence. It can help us absorb our food better. It can help with vertigo. It can help. Um, it can help with, let me see, it supports the respiratory tract and it can help us have easier breathing. It's great in times of coughs or colds or when you feel congested or simply when you feel like you're having to fight to breathe easily. It can ease our breathing on that. So for that, you can put a couple drops in your diffuser, turn it on. You can put one drop in your hand and you can either rub it in and then and then just smell it like this. Or some people like to put a drop in their hand and then just like cup their hand like this and breathe it in. Almost like you would an inhaler. Anyway, there's so there's, that's two different ways that you can use it to ease 
your help ease your breathing. It can reduce inflammation. It's great for headaches. So the zingabane is responsible for the oil's anti-inflammatory benefits. This important component provides pain relief um, and treats muscle aches, um, headaches. Ginger is essential oil is also believed to reduce the amount of prostaglandins in the body which are the compounds that are associated with pain. It's great for menstrual pain. It's useful for those with alcoholism. Um, you can t put it into your water and just drink it down to help with the cravings. It helps with loss of appetite. It's beautiful, beautifully supportive to our memory. So one thing about, well, I'll tell you that warning in just a minute. Um, it's beautiful for hot flashes. It helps to it helps with boosting our immune system. It helps to balance out our blood sugar levels. It helps to strengthen our heart. It has a high level of antioxidants. Um, you can use it to help stimulate your lymph system. Lymph system. So for that, um, you can put it on a cotton ball and just dab it underneath your arms. Or you can just mix a couple of drops with coconut oil and then just rub that onto um, the insides of your arms. It's a natural aphrodisiac. Most warming oils, and ginger is a very warming oil, most warming oils are known for the aphrodisiac-like qualities. It protects the liver. It's great to use on a hot day to help your body absorb and better use water and the last thing is it gives recipes a spicy peppery flavor so ginger is a very strong oil it's a very warming oil and so if you're using ginger essential oil in recipes what you might want to do is just dip a toothpick into the ginger oil and swirl that around into like your cookie mixture um, or your soup whatever you're doing um, you probably won't want to use a full drop, but you know, go ahead, play with it. See how you like to use it in your recipes. The one warning that I have on ginger essential oil is that when you put it on topically, it can make that area of your skin more likely, more sensitive to sunlight, so more likely to burn. So I would not um, use essential um, the ginger essential oil on my face and then go outside into the sunshine. Um, I wouldn't use it, I wouldn't rub it onto my knees, my legs for sore muscles, and then go to the beach. So maybe probably rubbing it onto skin where you're going to see sunshine only at night. Okay, emotionally, what does ginger oil help us do? Well, it's beautiful for those that are practicing mindfulness. It's the ultimate encouraging oil. It helps us to live in the present and seize the moment, make the most of the moment that we're in. It moves us from apathy and gets us back into action. It helps with alertness. It's beautiful for motivation. It helps us tap into our energy reserves. Ginger can help us stay fired up about our plans and ready to meet the challenges ahead. So for that, you can put a drop of oil onto your hand and smell it. You can put it in your diffuser, let it just make your whole area beautifully smell so good. Um, you can put a couple of doTERRA's ginger drops. They're um, like, like a cough drop, but not really made for, for coughs or colds. It's actually made for digestion. doTERRA's ginger drops are beautiful for digestion um, and so you can just if you find like you're if you find like you're not motivated you can definitely get one of doTERRA's ginger drops and and um, pop that in your mouth and see how that doesn't give you a little bit more motivation to stay at the task that you're trying to to do I love this next one about ginger ginger addresses deep patterns of victim mentality. So um, it's great for those who tend to blame everything in their lives on someone else. And it's great for people who have a hard time standing up for themselves. 
Ginger can help us with feelings of powerlessness to shift us into seeing what we do control and focusing on that. It helps us to feel empowered. It helps us to take control of what we do control. Ginger infuses a warlike mentality based on integrity, personal responsibility, and in individual choice. So um, it would be great to put on before you're doing your yoga, when you're doing that warrior pose one, warrior pose two. Um, I'm not super huge into yoga. I'm just like a little dabbler in the yoga. So if I'm getting something wrong, please forgive me. But I know when I'm doing yoga and I hit those like um, those warrior poses, I feel stronger. And um, so ginger would be a beautiful oil to help you feel like you are the warrior and you can handle anything that life sends your way. Ginger helps us to see that we are creators of our own life and we're no longer waiting for outside situations and circumstances to change before trying to make our life into where we want it or how we want it to be like. Ginger can help remind us that we have the power to choose our own destiny. Ginger essential oil can help empower people to assume responsibility and accountability for the consequences of their actions or their inactions, right? You don't do something and then something happens and you're like, well, I didn't do that. Or you do something and then something happens and you're like, well, I didn't do that, right? It helps us to say, yeah, what happened? It That was me. Let me say sorry. Let me make amends. Let me be accountable for what I do and what I say. And we can even be accountable to ourselves and, well, obviously, and to God for what we're thinking too. Ginger can help us work more harmoniously with others. So, so many essential oils are balancing oils. And are you seeing how it helps us move from the victim mentality to, um, to, taking our control back and being responsible back, right? And it can also help on the other side, people who tend to be too bossy um, and tend to want everything their own way. It can help them calm that down and, and play more nicely with people, work more nicely with people and um, appreciate people more as equals. Ginger essential oil can help give us courage and confidence. Cinnamon is a beautiful oil for that too. So ginger cinnamon would be a beautiful mix for, for confidence. Ginger can help with a general feeling of connectedness. It can help us shake off that tendency to procrastinate. Um, and it can help us want to tackle the hard things that we may have been putting off. It strengthens our willpower it moves us from um, from being inactive to active. It helps to restore our determination. Ginger essential oil can help balance out mood swings. It can help us um, take initiative and it can help us tackle and complete hard tasks. It can help clear away misconceptions and help bring clarity and vision. I think that's one of the reasons why it can help us move from victim mentality to feeling empowered. It's great for the usually dynamic individual who has lost their drive and ambition and has become apathetic and confused. It is, helps to relieve strength. It helps to relieve strength. Let me try that one again. It helps us to relieve stress. It can help um, move us from self-doubt and fear to courage and self-awareness. It can help relieve anxious feelings. Um, it can help relieve, it can help buoy us up in times of profound sadness. It can help relieve exhaustion. The warming quality of ginger essential oil also um, is a beautiful sleep aid. 
And so you can pair your ginger with some lavender, with some bergamot, with some Roman chamomile um, to help in sleeping. In Ayurvedic medicine, ginger was believed to treat emotional problems like fear, abandonment, lack of confidence or motivation. Remember how we said that ginger was so good at digestion? Well, we know that what, as, what essential oil does physically, it also does emotionally and vice versa. So if there's an oil that's great for digestion, our physical digestion, it's gonna help us digest everything that life is, is flowing our way, right? Sending our way. It's gonna help us digest that better. Keep the good, see the good, and let go of all the bad. Ginger mixes beautifully with lime for an emotional and physical lift. So the one thing that I want to tell you about ginger, because I know a lot of times I'm saying, oh, put this in your bath, put it in some Epsom salts or some milk, put it in your bath. Ginger is one that I'd be very cautious with. If you put some ginger into your bath, you're just going to use want to use one, one drop because it can be a very warming oil and then putting it in a bath can be too um, sensitive to your skin for a lot of different people. Okay, ginger can help move us from a victim mentality, feeling powerless, being unwilling to take responsibility, feeling defeated, not wanting to be present, not being present, just kind of checking out, feeling stuck and blaming others. And it can take us to a place where we feel empowered, committed, capable, purposeful, and accountable. As a mom, I love it when children take accountability for their own actions. And, and I'm trying to do that as a mom too. Okay, so the, again, the diffuser blend for the whole week is two drops of ginger, which is the oil of empowerment, the oil of empowerment, of power, two drops of bergamot, which is the oil of self-acceptance and self-love, two, dro two drops of black pepper, which is the oil of unmasking, the oil who helps us, that helps us to live authentically, um, present presenting our authentic self to the world. The song for the entire week is Pachelbel's Canon and Gige in D. And um, I will put some of my favorite versions of Pachelbel's Canon in D um, in the comments below. And the affirmation for the entire week, well, the affirmation for today is I, I am in charge of my thinking. I am in charge of my thinking. I am in charge of my thinking. Um, anytime we're having some thoughts that we don't like, some, some thoughts that are hard, Let's change our thoughts to the way we think Christ would be thinking. As we follow him, we are on the path to happiness. And the affirmation for the entire day, the, the entire week is, everything I think is positive. And I expect miracles often. As we have faith that miracles will come, they will come our way as we have faith and we have and we obey the principles, right? Okay, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life, reminding us all that we have this incredible power within us, with God, to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.